Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It. And today I'm gonna to show you how to clean your air intake on your Honda Pilot. Okay, we're on the driver's side of the car and here's your air filter box. So we're gonna loosen up these eight millimeter screws, there's four of them, and then we're gonna take out the air filter. Okay, you don't have to take these out all the way. Now you're able to lift this up and get to your air filter. Okay, now this is a, a K&N, look how dirty it is, geez. It's a K&N filter, it's reusable, you just clean it. I got a video on how to, how to clean these filters, so just look it up up here. So we gotta clean this. So now you're able to get this box. We're gonna unhook this. This is the uh, uh, mass airflow sensor. So hook that, okay. And then we gotta undo these clamps, okay. This one and that one over there. Once you loosen up these clamps, you'll be able to get this thing off and separate it from here. Okay. Ooh, look what I found. Wow. That's not good. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, let's separate this part now. Okay, so now you're able to take this part out. you're able to just separate this from here okay now we just need to get this clamp this clamp doesn't go all the way out because you got this piece over here it's kind of like a bad design so I need two hands for this what you're gonna do is squeeze it and just pull this out okay undo the wire from here and now I used a pair of ice grips just to hold this clamp open I'm gonna try this and hook it from here. Okay, now you can get to your throttle body. That's what that looks like. When you press the gas, this thing opens up and it lets air in. I'm gonna spray with some of this uh, throttle body and intake cleaner. Don't use anything else because sometimes you might mess up the coating or whatever's on this. Okay, now it's nice and clean. I'm surprised it wasn't as dirty as I thought it would be being done. First time I ever did it. So anyway, this is my main concern right now is this uh, hose that's messed up. And I'm surprised it didn't throw um, a check engine light being that it's a uh, unmetered air going through there. Okay, so I need to get another one, another piece like this. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna clean it and try to maybe throw some silicone or something to seal it up. All right, next uh, I clean this in and out and now you have this piece so this is just the cover for that box air box so clean this as well okay and we're also going to clean the mass airflow sensor okay okay this is what the mass airflow sensor looks like it goes in here and this is what measures the air going in to the car and the sensor reading to the computer and it does this thing i'm just gonna take it out so i don't mess it up while i'm cleaning it the uh, air box here. It's only two screws. And this thing just slides right up. Just like that. All right, we're going to clean the mass airflow sensor with some of this uh, cleaner. Don't use anything else, okay? Um, we're just going to spray it in here. That's it. So don't. This stuff dries pretty quickly. So. And this this can is almost empty. That's why I'm not getting like a nice spray. Make sure the little gasket is still on before you put this on. So just put it back in and just put the screws on. I'm using some of this ultra black uh, gasket maker just to mend this as best as I can for now until I get the new one. I'm just uh, using tape to kind of hold the whole, hold it all together and I'll probably wrap it all up with tape just to uh, make sure no air gets in there. Okay, take a small screwdriver and just pop these up. And then you're able to 
move this thing out of the way. Oh, take it off. Take it off. We're gonna clean in here too. Okay, let's take the bottom part of this air box. It's uh, 10 millimeter here, one over here, and there's uh, eight over here. Now that this box is out of the way, you can clean some of the stuff you can never get to before. All these leaves. All right, guys, so this thing is like a, the air goes through here and it goes into this box and it's like a muffler for the air. It's supposed to quiet it down. A lot of guys say if you take this off, then you get a free flow going into the box instead of going through all this. Um, I mean, I don't think this is that restrictive. And you also got that other thing over there. That's like a ram air that comes in through here. And uh, I don't know. If anybody ever took this off, let me know. Um, I mean, if it makes a difference, I'm willing to take it out. I don't care about the noise. But um, let me figure out if we could take this out. If not, if it's too much trouble, I'm just going to leave it in there. Okay, it seems the only thing holding this whole thing up is just one bolt down there. Um, the problem is to get to it, you either have to uh, just move this out of the way, this uh, inner fender, and, or go from underneath. I'm not gonna bother going through all that. I did enough already. Um, so let's put all, everything back together. Okay, we got the lower part of the air box. This part goes into that part down there. And make sure that drain hole right there is clear. Okay. So let's just turn out a bit of this. Back in here. Yeah, I might need two hands for this. Put your bolts on. Okay, so this is uh, my uh, temporary mending job over here until I get another hose. Um, I'm gonna throw some some electrical tape around that too, just to keep it in place. I also put a little more uh, some of the silicone over here and the one that was cracking. So let's put this in. All right, we're going to start by putting this in here first, same way we took it off. I need to do this fairly quick because the weather's changing. All right, make sure it's all the way in. And then you could let go of this. All right, now put this back in here. All right, this is the uh, air filter. I cleaned it up. But I still gotta oil it, so I'm not gonna have time. The weather's starting to get a little nasty over here, so uh, I just put a, a paper filter I have here, just just temporarily to oil that other one. And now all you have to do is just box over it here. Yeah. Okay, make sure you clip these wires with the belong. This one there and that one over there. Now let's put this other piece. All right. All right, everything's back together. Make sure everything's connected. This one and this one. Okay. And uh, at the very least, I uh, hope you learn you need to check this hose. Make sure there's no, no cracks or, or rips on it. So. I'm going to take this for a ride. I'm sure it's going to run a lot better. So I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Take care.